Oh yeah, it seeped up from the ground, assistant, right? Right, oh, Marshall! Wait a minute, he's stuck in the tar. See if you can pull him out, assistant. Oh my goodness. Hey assistant, what's that? The La Brea tar pit. That's right, it's a giant tar pit, and where are we at? Los Angeles. And assistant, what are those bubbles coming up? Methane gas. Methane gas, what's that? It's the gas you find in your home. Oh, that's the gas you cook with and you use for your stove and oven, right? Right. So this is a giant tar pit. And they found all kinds of fossils and animals here, right? Right, and we're gonna check them out. So here's an example. See how that elephant got stuck in the tar pit? Don't worry, it's not a real elephant. Yeah, it's not a real elephant. So when it got stuck, all the bones can be found in the tar pit. And assistant, how many bones do they say are in here? Lots, like millions and millions. Millions and millions. So we're the La Brea Tar Pits. And we need to find members of Paw Patrol. But Marshall, I guess, is in trouble, right? Yeah, so we need to go save Marshall fast. All right, so Rubble and Sky and others are looking for Marshall. Marshall. This is a funny looking tree. It's hey, a... up here. Rubble. It's Rubble. He Rubble. must have not found Marshall. No, he didn't, did he? No, okay. So let's keep looking down the path. Okay. So good. Hmm, who do we have left to find? Marshall, obviously. Marshall, and then I think we gotta find Sky too, right? Right. Let's keep going. Hmm. These are some funny looking plants. Hmm. In the sky! Oh, it's look. sky! It's sky, good job. Hey, you know what? I still definitely smell some, some smell, right? It almost feels like asphalt, like when they're about to pave yeah. a parking lot. Mm -hmm. We must be getting close to the tar pit. Must be. Huh. Wait, I'm over here by this tree. Let's see. Hey, there's a bridge over there. Oh, and look, there's a little bit oh, of... Oh, good thing I didn't step there. Yeah, that looks like tar. Let's go across the bridge. Yeah, let's go across this bridge. So assistant, they find tons of fossils here, right? Right. And look, you see the tar, right? Yeah. Oh, I hope Marshall didn't get in that tar. Me too. All right, let's go. We're gonna take a second from looking for Marshall and look at this. That's right, so this is how close the tar can actually be to the surface here. So look. Ready, I'm gonna poke it. It's right there. It's right there. And then watch, you can stick it all the way Whoa. in. Oh. Oh, I. That's right, sister. Watch what we can do. Oh. This is like dried tar, too. So if we kept looking, we could probably find bones in there. Maybe. It'd take a few feet, though, I feel like. Look how sticky. Oh, I'm glad Marshall's not in that, right? Yeah, me too. So that is how close the tar can be to the surface. So it's a tar seep, right? Right. Whoa. It goes so deep. Well, you wouldn't want to be an animal getting caught in that. We'll get back to the search for Marshall in a second. First, let's look at all the fossils in the La Brea Tar Pit Museum. This is a giant sloth. It would weigh almost 2,000 pounds. Can you imagine seeing a big animal like that? And look at those claws. Oh, that looks dangerous, doesn't it? But it's not, it's for the sloth to be able to dig. That's why it's got those giant claws. And here's a mastodon. It's kind of like an elephant, but it grazed in North America. It too would fall into the tar pit. Whoa, that thing looks pretty scary, doesn't it? But it's okay, it only eats grass. And this is a giant mammoth. It's even bigger than the mastodon. And look, it's got curvy tusks. That's one of the easy ways to tell the difference between a mastodon and a mammoth. This mammoth has tusks that curl around. Now it also is found in North America, just like the, the mastodon. Which do you like better, the mastodon or the bigger mammoth? 
Oh, I think I'd be kind of frightened if I saw either of them in a the field. Wouldn't you? Next, we have a real surprise. It's a lion. That's right. There were lions in America. And it would find animals that were trapped in the tar pit, and it would try to eat them. But guess what? It would get trapped too. So this is a fossil of an American lion. Look at those claws. Wow, I wouldn't want to come across that cat. But there's another cat too. This is a saber tooth. Look at the size of those fangs. Both the saber tooth cat and the American lion are now extinct. But the bones were preserved in the La Brea tar pit. Hey, let's go see how they are able to find these fossils. So this is part of an actual dig site, see? So this is where they find fossils. Hey, assistant, there's flags down there. What are the flags? They're marking fossils. Oh, yeah, they are. So look at all that oil. Scientists are searching this giant block right here to try to find fossils. What do you think they're going to find? <laughs> assistant, where are we going? We still got to find Marshall, right? Right. I hope they don't find Marshall in there. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, another tar pit. Number nine. Number nine. This one looks drier than the other ones. Yeah. All right, people home, do you see anyone in there? <gasps> Wait, there might be somebody over there. Let's go look. You see anyone? Nothing yet? Looks so dry. Wait, down here. Yeah. Zuma! It's Zuma. Hey, Zuma, be careful. Yeah, you're really close to the edge there. Yeah, we don't want you getting trapped in that tar. Actually, it looks a lot wetter over here, doesn't it? It does? I think so. Like, again, you could get stuck in that. Yeah. Oh, and look, there's seeps over here. Let's go see. Oh, look, it's... Hmm. Oh, it's a seep right there too, right? Yeah. Oh, so there's oil. <laughs> what in the world? It's Chase. He's making sure that no one gets near it, isn't he? Yeah, good job, Chase. Yeah, good job, Chase. You look. The oil's coming up right there in the ground. Looks like a tree went. Yeah, look at all the branches. Look. And if you got that on you, would it make a mess? It would make a really big mess, wouldn't it? All right, well, let's keep looking. Look, it looks like somebody took the tar and wrote their name. They signed their name. Should you do that, assistant? No. No, I, I'm sure that's frowned upon. Because if somebody sits down, they'd get tar on their bottoms, wouldn't they? Right. And you don't want tar on your pants. Should we go? Let's go all the way to the top and see if we see anything up there. Okay, should we? Cool. It's like an amphitheater. It is an amphitheater. Ooh, and look, there's a picture of a giant sloth over there. Ooh. Let's look. We gotta find Marshall. We heard that he got trapped. Oh, another tar pit. Ooh, I wonder what's been found here. I think a giant sloth. Soccer ball in there. Harlan's ground sloth. Hey, we saw we saw that in the museum, didn't we? Yeah, it were four and a half feet, so I'd be taller than it. Oh, but that's a big sloth. It's bigger than a bear. Yeah. I wouldn't want to mess with that. So they weigh 2,000 pounds. You know what that is? That's like 200 waffles. I think it'd probably be more. Roughly. Hmm. All right, well, Marshall is in danger, so we need to find him. You can see it there. It says tar pit. Wait, wait, lift it up. See if Marshall's underneath there. Nope. Nope, nothing there. No tar either. Huh. Let's go over to uh, this one over here. It said smelly. 
You see where it says? Because it is smelly. It doesn't smell good, does it? No. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's a little bit right there. Oh, look at this one. Oh yeah. You think Marshall's in this, this one? Is oh. a good one. Ooh, look at all that top. Ooh, wow, look at that. No Marshall here. Nope. There's another one over here. Any Marshall? Whoa! Ooh, look at that. Somebody put a stick in it. Hmm. Still no Marshall. Let's keep looking to see if we can find him. Okay. So Ryder said that Marshall was exploring the tar pits. Let's see if we yeah. can. Yeah. Hmm. There's some tar down here. Oh yeah. It seeped up from the ground, assistant, right? Right. Oh, Marshall. Wait a minute. He's stuck in the tar. See if you can pull him out, assistant. Oh my goodness. Marshall, good thing we found you. That's right. He got stuck in the tar pit. We can take uh, him back to the lookout tower, right? Right. Because assistant, Marshall is very lucky. A lot of animals weren't as lucky, right? They would sink down and be stuck. Like this little baby mammoth. He got trapped in the tar, and he wasn't as lucky, right? Right. But Marshall was lucky. Marshall made he it out. He just needs to clean off his feet. He needs to clean off his feet. So it says, how many fossils have they found here at the La Brea Tar Pit? Millions. Millions of actual fossils. Yeah. Because what would happen is animals would go in, and then what would happen? They'd get stuck. They'd get stuck. And then other animals would see that they were stuck, and then what would they try to do? Get the animals for easy food. They would try to eat them, like the dire wolf. Because it looks like water, but it's actually really sticky. So there's the bubbles bubbling up out there, and those bubbles are natural gas. In the ground, what is what's in the ground way below? Methane gas. Oil, right? Oh. And that releases the methane gas, and the oil seeps up. And you can see the bubbles coming up, and that's the methane gas. Right. So we found Marshall. We found Marshall here at the La Brea Tar Pits, right? Right, and we saw all these cool animals too. And we found where how, other things like saber tooth, the dire wolf. Pretty cool. But assistant, we saw how they got trapped in the tar. We saw the tar seeps in the ground. Yeah, I learned about the bubbles. What all? What was your favorite thing about here at the La Brea Tarpet? What was your favorite thing that you learned? I like seeing it seep all up through here. That's right, and where all the little traffic cones are at are where the oil seeping up. So what right. should people do now? Like this video and subscribe to our channel. That's right. Thanks for watching. Bye.